Blessings and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, this is Father Michael and it's Concert Friday here at the God Minute. Welcome. We're here to allow music to lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And And my mouth mouth shall shall declare your praise. praise. Psalm 71, Taking Refuge In you, Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue and deliver me. Listen to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, my stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and fortress. My God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evil and violent. You are my hope, Lord, my trust, God, from my youth. On you I have depended since birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. My hope in you never wavers. I have become a warning to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, shall sing your glory every day. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When considering Jesus, it's important to remember how few descriptions of the actual physical appearance of Jesus we have in sacred scripture. People spoke of him as a rabbi and prophet, but even the soldiers needed someone to point out who he was the night they went into the garden. They couldn't trust a description to pick him out of a crowd. We know who his parents were and the rough complexion of Jewish men in Roman Palestine, but not much more. The most prominent description of the Messiah comes from the prophet Isaiah, who said he possessed no splendid form for us to see, no desirable appearance. From the early days of the church, Christians everywhere have projected onto Jesus the characteristics of their own heritage. We can see this in images from Ethiopia to Norway to China. Willa Hudson and Alfred Burt were the lyricists and composers of a beautiful song back in the early 1950s. The lyrics were written on the roadside one evening after Willa was with some friends and realized adults still see Jesus as an infant. Her mind was filled with thoughts that if she were a child in Africa, she would imagine Jesus as a black man, or if in China, he would be seen as someone with almond-shaped eyes, or if in India, as someone with darker skin and darker hair. She pulled over to the side of the road and she began to write. The words, when presented to Alfred, were not put to music until two years later. Those who hear the song that we're about to hear, once they experience it, tend to make it one of their best-loved Christmas carols, which gets played every year. Understand, this song has no historical significance when speaking of Jesus. However, like the Lord's coming, it has significantly changed the hearts of many people who hear it. Over the years, it's been recorded by numerous artists. One of the latest to record it is David Archuleta of American Idol fame, whom we will listen to sing it for us today. The song is entitled Some Children See Him and can be accessed all over the web, especially this time of year. 
You can see a version of it on our YouTube page. But let's just take a moment now. Let's relax and contemplate this beautiful song and its meaning in the midst of the conditions of our world today. How timeless it is for us. Today, this song awakens in me a renewed understanding of why we so desperately need a Savior and how very important His coming as the Messiah can radically change our view of the world for the better. Let us pray. Father of the universe, creator of all that is good, we, your children, come before you today, thanking you for creating us just the way we are. Help us each day to see your face, your heart, your presence in all of our brothers and sisters, no matter our differences, so that we can be united in one holy family. We ask this as we do all things in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, everyone, for joining us in prayer today. I hope that this song has a special place in your heart during this holiday season. It's a beautiful, beautiful message that it gives us. Um, tomorrow, uh, we have the last of the uh, Chris, uh, prophecies for the, from the Christmas Novena to explore. And then, of course, all next week, 
including Christmas Day and the day after. We have some special presentations for those days which will provide for your uh, prayer and reflection. Do take good care of yourself and know that we're praying with you and for you. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. The children in each different place will see the baby Jesus face like theirs but bright with heavenly grace and filled with holy light. Oh, lay aside each earthly thing and with thy heart as offering come worship now the infant king tis love that's born tonight